Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim with Jupiter Jim's Marketing Club. Here's how you get to my page. Just go to jupiterjim.club, just check us out or get on the email list if you're not already on it. So let's get over to the demo site. This is the default WordPress 2016 theme. And I'm just gonna scroll up and down a little bit so you can see it's just a really boring little website. Now this is the blog post right here, how to update WordPress plugins. This is not what I'm gonna to teach today. I'm gonna to teach how to change font size and family. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm gonna click here, and that's gonna get me, as you can see, to a single post per page. Now, we've already changed the font size and font family. I'll show you how we did that in a minute, but we can't do that anywhere else. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so let's go over here. This is the dashboard. I've already logged in. Here is the self-same post we were just looking at. Now, I've already changed this right here and I changed the size and all that stuff by clicking on the H12 tag here. You can only use the H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, you know, for section titles and, and things like that. You can't use an H2 for a whole paragraph because it's really bad SEO. I did another video on that. I'll cover that later. Okay, so we need to add a plugin. Now, if you look right here, there's no way to change font size and family. This right here is called the tool bar toggle. So you can get one or two rows. You need typically need two rows. Okay, let's go back here. We're gonna go to plugins, install, let's just add new. Let's go here, type in WP edit. Very simple, that's all there is to it. WP edit and hit enter. That brings this up number one by Josh Loeb. You're gonna look at more details. That's what we're gonna do right now for a second. Now, this is the plugin we want. It's called WP edit. This is what you're gonna use if you have a version of WordPress that's th version 3.9 or higher. You're gonna use WP Edit created by Josh Loeb right there. Now, if you have a version of WordPress that is lower than 3.9, like for instance 3.83, then you would use the Ultimate Tiny MCE plugin, also created by Josh Loeb. Now it's January 16th, excuse me, eh, June 15th, 2016 right now. So hopefully everybody at this point is using WordPress 3.9 or higher, in which case you're gonna use WP Edit. I wanna scroll down here uh, for a second. So that's Josh, that's a picture of Josh. Donate to the plugin. I mean, a cup of coffee at Dunkin' Donuts costs about a buck 50, and he's worth like 10 times that, at least for this plugin. If you can't afford it, just, just donate a dollar. You know what I'm saying? It, at least because this is a lifestyle. I don't know what I would do without it. You gotta thank the guy $1 for creating the plugin and then constantly updating and maintaining it. It's unbelievable. It's really a, a donation. It's just awesome. Okay, you can see it's got high ratings. It's compatible up right now at this time, um, June 15, 2016, up to WordPress 4.6. And the version of WP Edit that we're using is 3.8.1. Okay, let's click Install Now. Okay, and we're gonna click Activate Plugin, very simple. Okay, now I'm gonna go to Font Size and Font Family. Now typically, they would be down here. They're gonna be over here. When you first install them, they're going to be down here. I installed it already in order to test out the plugin. Okay, so that's why they were up there. When you first activate the plugin, they'll be down here. So just click and drag it up, font sizes and font family. I usually have them in this order. Okay, font family, font size, that's it. Now, the pro version is over here. If you wanna get more really cool features with this plugin, just click here to pay for the pro version and you're helping out the um, developer. Um, if you all like the plugin, definitely click here. It doesn't cost you anything to give it a five-star rating. Okay, so I dragged the font family and font size from here to here, right from button container to button rows, okay? Now you just click Save Buttons. All right, it's still spinning. Good, okay, let's go back to All Posts. Let's go to How to Update WordPress Plugins. And there it is, Font Size, Font Family. Now, you can change everything. This code down here, right here, this is for the video, don't worry about that. So if I wanna change 
the font family for everything. I'm going to, before I even touch that, right here, this is an H2 tag. You can H1, H2, H3. That's just for headers of sections. You don't have any control. The WordPress theme decides what an H2 tag is going to look like. Any text in between an H2 tag is going to look like. I'm going to click here. Um, there's the H2 tag, okay? And there's the closing H2 tag. And anything in between there is defined by the theme CSS styles. But you can't use H1, H2, H3 to change font size and font family here. Plus, that's already predefined. You don't have any control. So I can still go in here and change, once that's done, I can change that to Comic Sans and change font size to 22 if I want. Okay. I can also go here, highlight this whole paragraph or just part of the paragraph, change font sam family. I can change that to, you know, and just make that 14, make it bigger. Now, if I want to change the color, that's already built into WordPress. That would be right here. I like orange just to be different. And that's it. Now I'm going to click here, click update. Spinning, spinning. Okay, we go here. Let's click refresh. Deselect, click refresh. And we change that size of, we change the font size, we change the font family, we change the font size and family and color right there. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found this helpful. Take care and have a great day.